a field is 10 yards longer than twice the width. The field is 10 yards longer than twice the width. That's just a little bit confusing just to read, but a diagram will help you see this. So let's draw a little field here. So maybe there's some grass in it or something. One thing we know is that it has a certain width, we'll call it W, and then the length is going to be 10 yards longer than twice the width. So I can write that. 2W would be twice the width, and 10 yards longer than that would be 2W plus 10. So it has a width of W and a length of 2W plus 10. You can show that on a diagram, or you could write it like this. You could say W is the width, and 2W plus 10 is the length. You could either write it out like this or draw a diagram like that or both. I think the diagram is probably the most helpful because you can get a visual picture of what's going on. Now we're told that the perimeter of the field is 260. And remember that the perimeter is the distance around. So if we start at one corner and we walk all the way around the field, the total distance is the perimeter. So to help me think about this, I'm going to go ahead and write a W over here because this side is going to be the same as that. And I'm going to go ahead and write 2W plus 10 down on the bottom because this edge will be the same as that. Now imagine starting at one corner and walking all the way around. What distance do you go? What distance do you walk? Well, you go this distance, 2w plus 10, and then you go through the width, so I add another w, and then I walk another length, 2w plus 10, and then I add one more width to finish my little trip around, so I add another w. That total distance is 260 yards, so I'll write 260. Now this is a big equation, but I can make it a lot simpler by looking at the like terms. There's a 2w, a w, a 2w, and a w. All of those can be combined. 2w plus w plus 2w plus w is 6w. So I have 6w over on the left. And then I have this 10 and this 10. Those combine to give me a 20. So I have 6w plus 20 on the left and that equals the 260. And if I subtract 20 from each side, that will leave me with 6w on the left and 240 on the right. And then I can find w simply by dividing by 6. So I divide by 6 on the left and on the right. And on the left, the 6's cancel out, leaving me with w and I have W is equal to 240 divided by 6. So W is equal to 240 divided by 6 is 40. So I have an answer. I have W equals 40. Now you need to look back at your problem and see if what you just found is really what you were asked to find. And here we were told to find the dimensions. That means find the length and the width. So I have the width so far. So that's, that's a start, but I also need to find the length. And I know the length is going to be 2w plus 10. So I can just compute that, 2w plus 10, because I know the width is 40. I know that 2w plus 10 is going to be 2 times 40 plus 10. And that's going to equal 90. So the width is 40, and I can write that the length is 90. And that's my answer. Or if you wanted to, you could say 40 yards by 90 yards. That would be a common way to write it as well.